All right, Mo, I think we, I think we're in the clear. PPV for VA or two. Moon is currently stationed in Utara Falguni. That's a star patronage, right? Um, it gives the power to accumulate wealth and substance through partnership, contracts, agreements, and associations, right? It's kind of like a matchmaking star presided over by Armin. Armin is the, <clears throat> he is the Aditya that represent vows, contracts, things like marriage and friendship. He's the, he's the friend that introduce you to someone else. You dig know what I'm saying? And truth be told, like, that's kind of how I am. Like, I ain't gonna bat, I think. Somebody at the gym was telling me, I like, Taylor was talking about me. It was like, you know, yeah, but, like, I guess it kind of bothered him because it was like, you could try to give me some help and just everything in me, job. Like, I wouldn't even ask him. I could be down so bad. <laughs> Where I ask a motherfucker for shit. And if you do want to help me out, won't you introduce me to, you know, a woman that you know or something like that? If you really do want to help me. Because <laughs> I didn't peep shit about Aries. Aries, y'all all kind of got a thing about y'all. I ain't gonna bet. <laughs> it's cute though. So. Continue with the theme, power to accumulate wealth through partnerships, matchmaking, and all that. I made this little graphic. Hold on. I made this graphic over here. I used to do that jump by hand. Reezy got one of them jumps by hand. Uh, and I got the other one kind of like, it was it was tagged up in the room. Now, this is the Nav Navatra. Or Navat Navtara. So, the Nav main nine. And Ch Navatra is nine, nine planets controlling three groups of stars. So the sun control critical, Utara Falguni, Utara Shot. Moon controls um, Rohini, Hasta, Shravana, Mars, Mergashir, Chitra, Dinishta, Arja. Swati, Shada Bisha, Punarvasu, Vishaka, Purvabhadrapada, Pusha, Anurada, Uttarabhadrapada, you know, just going through all of them, so on and so forth. So I'm using the sun as our example since Mona is in Uttara Falguni. So Mona and Uttara Falguni power to accumulate wealth, substance through partnerships, contracts, right? Second to the second to that star is Moon. So anybody with Rohani Moon, Hosta Moon, Shravana Moon, they just like they might bring wealth. They might bring prosperity. You dig what I'm saying? Assets. <clears throat> now third to the sun, Mars types. They might create danger. They might bring danger with them. Dangerous circumstances. Next is fourth. Right, so three is the natural house of fights, arguments, and effort, courage, things that require courage. Fourth house is the house of, house and number of comforts, happiness, peace of mind. So Rahu is fourth star, not fourth houses, but the fourth star from sun. They bring blessings. They might bring blessings of well-being, comfort, happiness, and stuff like that. I'm going to get into some other stuff later. Jupiter types might create obstacles. They're fifth from you. They might create obstacles or obstructions. Uh, Saturn types can help. Uh, help somebody to achieve their goals, wish fulfillment, and things like that. Mercury types for those with, you know, Moon and Critica, Moon and uh, Uttara Falguni, or Moon and Uttara Shada. Mercury types, so those are people at the end of Cancer, end of Scorpio, end of Pisces, Aslacia, Jayesta, and Ravadia. They might bring challenge and circumstances, like death like, death like circumstances. Like, I bear witness. Um, just this, just this, what was it, yesterday or two days ago on Monday, 
They got in a, a little car accident. My back and shit. Everything hurt. I ain't gonna bet. Everything hurts. And then when we exchanged the little like driver's license information, I seen the bitch uh birthday. I looked that shit up immediately. Guess what her moon was? And my star of destruction. That bitch tried to kill me. You dig what I'm saying? So I don't really know who sent them. But I do know I'm going through karma that's represented by Saturn. So shit like that just be occurring. And I told her, let me just continue. But I work with somebody, they got moon and a Rahu star. For Rahu, that's the blessings of well being for sun types, right? But ain't shit mutual in life. So therefore, how that plays out is now look at the mythology of Rahu. During the turning of the ocean, Rahu sat because he, he was peeping, he was about to do some real underhanded, uh, some underhanded activity. So he positioned himself in between sun and moon like an eclipse is before they could uh, try to dupe his side out of uh, their reward. And so the sun snitched on Rahu, told on him Rahu ends up getting his head cut off, but then twice every year, he come and swallow the sun and the moon completely, right? That's just mythology. Now I bear witness at work, they real lie be like the sun types, they got critical. I don't like critical. I kinda don't relate too much with the Falguni. I've only met Utara Shada once, they cool. But I do bear witness, they any chance that they get, they try to snitch on that little girl about the dumb and shit. You dig what I'm saying? But that's how it be. It's like, um, those who are seventh to your own star, they gonna they gonna try to abuse you and take advantage of you, and they ain't gonna see nothing wrong with it. And that's part of the like the Maya and the illusion. He <laughs> dig on saying so. Um, fuck, else can I say? Okay, so after Mercury is K two, K two types for people with like Moon and a Sun star. Uh, they might be friendly. Oftentimes, you might find that they 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 easily support you. Like they're just like whatever ideas you got. They kind of that's your community. Them your peoples. Like they gonna like you, but they gonna keep a certain amount of distance. Cause for you, for them, you might bring danger. You know what I'm saying? And K two is the other half of Rahu, so they probably know you. You got that little that that, that snitch spirit on you too. And those types are a little more and more uh, cunning. So, you ain't gonna get them too quick. And then the last type, right? This is Venus types. They might become fast friends, like real close friends. Now, I'm a Venus type. I actually do not like y'all. You know, you're very vain uh, on, a, on a very low level. Some of y'all don't really want to step up. And if you rule by the sun, the sun jar, like, got... He got a lot of responsibility in the solar system. And the criticals that I met, y'all too shy. You don't really put your seals out there. And you move very, very slow, which is cool. The sun only move one sign uh, every 30 days. But y'all, whatever. With Tyler Falcon, is cool. Y'all really cool, almost too cool. And in this show, in terms of like... Um, Cause Utara Falguni got this thing like I work with Utara Falguni she be talking about she take marriage serious all y'all do but y'all take it too serious where it get to I just get you like y'all might have the idea where you just have to be married and that shit get into codependency and y'all be thugging it out in a kind solid way but you really be looking goofy you know and and yeah and they come from that pride thing because sun is all about him sun is debilitated in a sign that represent uh giving to others which is libra so all y'all motives kind of be selfish you dig know what i'm saying a nigga be with y'all and be a whole puppet you dig know what i'm saying he just fit into your scheme uh but venus and sun are bitter enemies so they don't really like each other i actually don't i don't really like y'all I, I do like Utara Shada, but they Utara Shada is the other half of my star. So I'm always on the move. Them motherfuckers always on the move. We always on a journey. So we just meet whenever we meet and then we kinda, you know, go on. But 
other sun types kind of yeah, got have a belief that people are supposed to revolve around them. And the truth of the matter is, bro, like, sun is a mild malefic. I mean, he's kind of an asshole. I mean, y'all kind of got that same way about y'all. But all that ego, all that pride, don't allow you to see it that well. You do know what I'm saying? I just, so, but only other person that got like a graphic like this is Reezy. God bless that young man. Um, but I was, we was. Me and the Gemini was kind of testing this out to see. I'm always running these group like this. It's always running in my head. Like I work with somebody, found out they got Shrive in the Moon, right? So that, what is it, Moon types, third to me, they kind of could, they might cause danger. But if we look into what is it? The relation between Venus and Moon. Moon is neutral to Venus. Venus is an enemy to the Moon. But when we look at the um, the stories, right? The Moon, the Moon, his personality kind of like he he alive wild. He's a wild one. Um, he ended up taking all the demigods and devas and all of them he ended up taking them to war because he 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 was he began sleeping with the wife of jupiter and he was like look if she want to go back she go back on her own accord i'm not holding her hostage woo, 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 but she didn't want to go and they was telling moon send her back and he was like look man y'all really i already tried you're not gonna keep pressing me out so what y'all want to <laughs> They ended up going to war, and, and the planet Venus, Lord Shuker, had chose to be on the side of Chandra, the moon, because he's just enemies with Jupiter and shit like that, right? So they go to war, and they wage a war, and it's crazy. Like, they actually have to get Shiva, the Annihilator, to step in and get the moon to kind of, like, cut that shit out, you feel <laughs> So, how does that, like, how you use that? If you're a Venus type, you're going to like moon types. Because you're going to be aware, or you're going to feel something about the wild side. And to a degree, here's why moon types bring Venus types danger. Because, no funny, my grandfather got Shrive in the Moon. A little youngin' I used to work with, she had Shrive in the Moon. My little cousin, he got Shrive in the Moon. My man Gil, he got Shrive in the Moon. Like, I real I love y'all. But why y'all might cause me danger is if you, if you was ever in some shit, guarantee you could call me. And I'm near. Especially if it's like a mutual, like some, a, a thing, a cause, or a person we might not like together. Oh yeah, just for the fuck of it, yeah, I'm joining that. I'm with that. So it's a it's a it's an interesting relationship. Moon exalts in Taurus, so Moon kind of like Venus, feel comfortable with Venus. Venus does not like Cancer. It's too emotional, get too caught up in all that shit. And Venus is like, mm -hmm. um, what else could I say? Hey, look, you apply this, you know, you do some research. That's what I did. Um. I'm just getting into the mode of trying to share this, but I don't think it's some of this shit. I ain't gonna baptize how this shit gets so diabolical. Jeez, I see why I just, you know. I would tell you, like, somebody into this, I would tell them this is witchcraft too, because it just, it, nah, it's not for you. Like, you know, like, y'all don't really have the right, uh. <laughs> I just ain't got that shit. Like, I would trust you with this shit. And if you ever down on your, oh my gosh, you ever fucked up, it's so tempting. But if you do, in my case, I should be fucked up if I try that bullshit. So, uh, moaning them tire foul gone in. 
power to accumulate wealth, substance through partnerships and contracts, Lord of environment. He is the friend that introduced you to somebody. Like, hey, look, you know, I know this. I just met this girl. Um, I think you two would be a good fit. You feel me? But this person, this arm actually has um, a knowledge of what goes together <clears throat> and what is unadulterated. You feel me? Adultery is just when, when two things don't mix. Um which is the case for most things. Like, I ain't gonna bat most people, you know, treat it like, uh, like this jump, easy going that jump. But beyond just the physical, what you see, like, y'all had no business getting involved. You feel me? Uh, is that everything now? I think so. It's a little quick 15 PPV for via ULT, man.